Hey, what's up guys? This is my Moringa Oleifera plant. It's almost four weeks old and I'm growing it under a 100 watt CFL light. It's a 6500K light spectrum. And if you notice, the node spacing on this plant is extremely tight. And if you're gonna grow it indoors or, or if you're forced to like I am, I live up here in the Northeast, uh, your best option is to go with the uh, 6500K light spectrum. I'm growing it strictly for the vegetation on it. I plan to make moringa powder out of it. Um, for the time being, I've actually ordered some moringa powder to supplement me until I can harvest this, which will probably be in another month, month and a half, we'll see. As it is right now, it's only about six inches tall. Uh, it's not very leggy at all, but it's bushing out on its own. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have to top it, top it, or anything like that, but we'll see. And uh, I'm actually growing it in a PC case. <laughs> uh, it's just something I, I already had. So, uh, but uh, once it gets big, too big for this case, I'll be transferring it over to another area of my house where I plan to grow some other vegetables and whatnot. But uh, there you have it, Moringa Oleifera, under a 100 watt CFO bulb 6500K light spectrum. And uh, really, if you're just going for the leaf growth, that's all you need. You don't need a uh, flowering spectrum or a dual spectrum. They see it seems to do better under strictly under veg lights. Uh, I've got it under 16 hours of light and uh, eight hours of darkness. So, but uh, there you go. It is possible to grow it indoors, especially if you're forced to, like I am, being up here in the northeast. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Hope you enjoy the video.